Thanos versus Voldemort. Who would win if you pit the Mad Titan against the one who shall not be named? We'll be judging based on three topics, power, their armies, and physicality. We're also judging based solely on the characters from the movie, so no book or comic lore is involved in this here fight. Round one, power. With the gauntlet, Thanos is near unstoppable and godlike with all those stones, and the only thing that could stop him is a piece of star and Groot's arm. <laughs> But even then, it was merely a flesh wound since he was still able to retire to the farm at the end of the day. You should have gone for the head. Voldemort. Why did you say that name? Chill, bro. Old Tom Riddle is a bitch to kill with all those horcruxes he's got laying around, so if you don't take care of that barrier BS before getting into a Roman candle fight with this guy, you won't have much of a chance. But once you knock down those walls, he's pretty easy to take off the board, and with a gauntlet full of stones, Mr. Thanos has this round. All that for a drop of blood. Round two, their armies. Thanos has a few subsections of kinds of soldiers at his disposal. The first group being the Outriders, a large feral army of creatures created specifically for battle. The second group are the Shatari. Atari, disposable foot soldiers who are more of a headache than a threat. And the Black Order, filled with villains with badass names like Ebony Maw, Proxima Midnight, Cole Obsidian, which make up the Horde of Hell that'll make you go, oh crap. Voldemort, on the other hand, has the Death Eaters, an army of wizards and witches. Some notable ones are Bellatrix Lestrange, the Malfoys, even though they leave pretty quick in the thick of things, and Severus Snape. But he ends up a double agent, so can you really count him? But Voldemort also commands various magical creatures like those pesky Dementors and Giants. In the end, when you have an army full of wizards and your foot soldiers are creepy things like this, I can't imagine Thanos' army lasting against the likes of magic. Round three, physicality. The big old purple, blue, pink, what color is he again? Thanos' brute strength took on the likes of the Hulk and his angry prime, and a handful of Avengers and Guardians who couldn't seem to hold it together long enough to avert this crap from happening. Screw you, Quill. But let's admit it, if you didn't do that, then this badass scene doesn't happen. Avengers! Assemble. Voldemort doesn't lift a finger to do much unless he's flicking his wand or touching his snake, and if you hug him high enough, he'll burst into smoke and take you for a ride. But besides that, Voldemort doesn't have a chance against this. I am inevitable. Such a pity. Winner and champion, Thanos. If you enjoyed this versus episode, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to see more from Mind Maze Entertainment. Until next time, see you later.